Jamaica is a beautiful paradise, tropical island in the Caribbean Sea, made famous for late greats such as Sam Sharp, Paul Bogle, Nanny of the Maroons, um, Bookman Dotty, Marcus Mazaya Garvey. Yeah. Hey, love Marcus Mazaya Garvey. Yes. And, uh, you know, Jamaica, full of exceptionally talented reggae musicians, singers, a string of Olympic gold medalists as well. And, you know, despite the, the island being, you know, quite small in, in comparison to most countries around the world, they have nevertheless made a significant impact on the world in terms of the reggae music, in terms of the reggae culture, in terms of uh, the Rastafari influence on the world as well. I don't think there's anywhere that I've traveled in the world and I haven't come across you know natives of that part of the world promoting the Rastafari culture. Jamaica is uh, definitely a world leader in terms of its ability to impact and influence the world and it's Rastafari and music that might make Jamaica great. Let's get that straight, you know, and our politics and our government are the people that make Jamaica, make Jamaica great. Let's get Anytime you're artists yeah, and your poets become entertaining, your immune system breaks down because you're not inspiring your people, you're entertaining white people. Mm -hmm. And this is where we are going wrong now because the Jamaican artists them have to stand up to inspire the people and come off of this entertainment business. That's why that's why these artists can put on all woman frock to entertain. Mm -hmm. You understand? A colonialism that and that is why the immune system, that's why they can talk about these virus and them have the, the fastest fool, same, same positive and all of these things. We are the people who are analyzing ourselves and we have to be cruelly honest to ourselves sometimes and realize the contradiction that we, we suffer in the name of wanting to be normal. Yeah? Um, you know, we have to wake up. Mm. Bobby, says, rise, you mighty people. Rise from your sleeping slumber. Mm -hmm. But I have to use the language of slumber as well. Because only a people who are asleep mm -hmm. will continue to trust your enslaver, your invader, your colonizer. And every time they come with a new strategy, you're, you, you're, you're trusting them again and trusting their new strategy. That is crazy. You're saying sanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A back on them says sick dog no go junk doctor. <laughs> you come with that one again. <laughs> sick dog never what? Sick dog no go junk doctor. Okay, <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> For those who don't understand. We got junk we got drunk a doctor. We're really sick. We're really in trouble. We're the sick dog. Mm -hmm. And we're called the Jankro. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I remember going to For those who don't know what Jankro is, a vulture. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, in other words, a sick dog wouldn't visit a vulture for healing. Mm -hmm. Because the vulture have a vested interest mm -hmm. in, the, the in your sickness. Yes. yes. Yeah, the sickness. And for the sickness to, over, to overcome the dog and for the dog to dead because mm -hmm. the vulture have a wait for the dead meat. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But we are like sick dogs going to the going going to the, the vulture, healing. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. and we can't get well. Right. Mm -hmm. So, so we have to be, we have to be very mindful mm -hmm. of the tactics mm -hmm. that these people use. You know, as one of our um, most eminent ancestors said, history is best qualified to reward our research. Mm -hmm. All we have to do is stand Kofa, and Malcolm we can I see. Mm -hmm. The patterns. Mm -hmm. You understand me? I say we can yeah. see the pattern of how they be here. What Jamaica need right now is a revolution, blood. You know, okay. you don't have to be bloody. You don't have to be bloody, but things need to change around and make mm -hmm. the people see prosperity. For years, all I'm seeing is heartache and deprivation. Voodoo. True talk, Dr. Yeah. Abu. Rise up yourself every time. Uh, We're puzzled. You know, there's a, there's a saying, you know, turkeys don't celebrate Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
We are turkey. We are the turkey. I celebrate Christmas. <laughs> we are doing the bells and we are jump up and we celebrate. I want to know we are the main course. Right. Right. <laughs> the time Christmas come with dead, right? Mm -hmm. And we got to walk up on the table and them stuff. They put stuff in our body and put me in the oven. That's the way it is good. And it's not because I'm here to, it's because I'm lover. <laughs> we, love, we love the turkey while we sit down and chop him up and eat him. <laughs> we love the lion, love, love the lion, love the deer. Why the lion chase the deer, right? Mm -hmm. am, I, am I correct? Yes, I love to eat. The lion chased the antelope. Mm -hmm. The antelope are the deer, are the zebra. The lion mm -hmm. of the them from their Right? And them. And the lion will taste them chasing them because he loved them. Mm -hmm. And I taste something better than that too. The lion will tell you you want to integrate. The lion will sorry, come again. The lion will tell you. That he wants to integrate. Hey. <laughs> the antelope or the zebra. And when the lion catch up with the antelope or the zebra, mm -hmm. the integration begins. Right. Mm -hmm. At the time the lion finish, mm -hmm. him and the antelope are, are one. Mm -hmm. One oh, lion. Yeah. Yes. One, one spirit. Yes. No, sir. A true. <laughs> But that is, yeah, so they become one. Mm -hmm. The lion now is stronger, and you can't see the zebra. <laughs> That's an interesting analysis that um, Robert Eder come up with. Mm -hmm. And um, he said 200 people in two months. Mm -hmm. Do we know what the statistic was for Jamaica this time around last year for murder? It was nearly flipping 800 people. Wow. On the streets. See it there. Four or five a day. So, so, so COVID, COVID kill far less than man when I kill people in a Jamaica. Like the, the, the murder rate in, 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 in Jamaica, death by violence, whether it's police or it's um, criminals. Last year in Jamaica, it was over a thousand people. You understand what I'm saying? And that don't include accidents and sickness. And all them thing there. Mm -hmm. And, and we never see no be... sense of emergency. We never see the kind no. of operation that's going on now no. to try and address never. an issue. No. They never, they never lock down the place. Right. When man murder, they get lick out, mm -hmm. and then find man head um outside of people yard and all them something there. Oh. Yeah, this is the kind of violence that um other Jamaicans are doing against other Jamaicans mm. to the tune of. Hundreds people dead in a dozen a month mm. a week, and it's not good. And this is the whole thing about it Jamaica play a great part in our life. You understand? I born in this country, but I grew up in Jamaica. And I have to rise up there, the Rasta man and woman, them in a Jamaica. I mean, I thought it was long year Catholic. <laughs> I thought them that we are dealing with them African spiritual because I have to be real. Here. I have to be real because there's a mighty thing come out of that island called Rasta man and woman. Work down, work down. Work down. Yeah. You know? And I see how they want to turn them in a Rasta fear and all of them things. But that's not the thing I have. So I have to maintain it and know that from my little boy, I grew up among some African man and woman who are trying to maintain them African spirituality. To the a lot of that have been checkmate. Checkmate. I want to turn into certain things. What I'm saying that if we look forward to those Rasta man and woman, we can counter this in COVID-19. Right, because sir. they were they were there as a as an antidote against colonialism. You know, see? and they fight it. Jamaica have everything that they need, but because it's not certified, even the same one they will run away from it. You understand? You have some wonderful herbalists in Jamaica. Because they don't have any certification from the West, people doesn't want to turn to them. But as I said, they have a, they have a, a saying that Jamaica, dog will niam your supper. Mm -hmm. Totally accord with, um, with Brother Abu. I think the, the, the basis of our analysis must be the actual nature of 
the Jamaican steel. And Dr. Abu has reminded us quite rightly that it is a neo-colonial construct. And it's important that we understand what colonialism actually means. That colonialism is the enslavement of one nation by another. It's slavery mm. by another name. And a neo-colonial state is a state that is also enslaved, a nation enslaved by another nation, but in a more modernized, highly sophisticated, high-tech manner. So it's high-tech uh, mechanism of enslavement of a whole nation by, na by the American state and by the British state and other states that feed off Jamaica and other African nations as though we are carcass and they are vultures swooping down upon us. So just to add and to complement what you're saying there in terms of you need the, no, the need for us as a people to have our own you know, political structures that have the people at the heart of it, education systems, all of which needs to be africated as brother um prophet would say we need an african centered political system economic system education system we need you know to be focusing inwards now on us uh, over the last 400 years as we know you know they have had the time to set up their uh, institutions their organizations their corporations and when we finally managed to get our independence uh, they um, left behind those very same systems those very same institutions those very well, same power structures those very same education that's institutions that's and we have just continued to maintain their system and we have continued to allow our children and ourselves to be educated in their schools to maintain their systems. And through that mm. certification of Brother Abu was talking about, they mm. decide which one of us they think is best suited to manage yeah. their systems on their yeah. behalf. Who's yeah. their best lackey? Who's not going to rock yeah. the boat? Who's going to maintain the status quo? Mm. And that is the situation that we've got 40, 50 yeah. 60 years after our countries have won their independence. And there will be no change for another 100 years unless we rid ourselves of these very same systems of control that they have left in place post uh, their, their, our independence. And so my brother, as you were saying, in terms of uh, the, the systems and the powers that be, and us now as the ones who have to make sure that we have the ability to take control and to take power, it has to be with an Africated mindset as well. My brother, Mandak, I see you wanted to come back in. Um, yeah, I just wanted to crown what it, 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 the summarization you've given there, my, my sister, with another saying from uh, the, the, the elders from and the, the ancestors from Jamaica, you can plant corn and it's the three peas. Mm -hmm. That's what we're planting corn Mm -hmm. And we have found all the peace now come. Mm -hmm. But I can't be a plan. That's their institution. Mm -hmm. We are expecting their institution to deliver us. Mm -hmm. We are out of the economic institution. We are expecting to get military protection out of their military institution, physical protection out of their military institution. We expect their science and technology to empower us. Right? Mm -hmm. It's not going to happen. True, true. Can plant corn and expect to reap peas, right? Mm -hmm. so you want peas, plant peas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm worried. And I'm worried. Rise up. Um... And, and, and remember this, and I'm, I always bring it back to this basic thing from a supposed disease that if you wash your hand for 28 seconds, mm -hmm. you're supposed to can kill it. Mm -hmm. No other disease that's ever come, you can wash your hand for 28 seconds and you're nice. <laughs> but this disease where you can wash your hand for 28 seconds and everything, Chris, you can <laughs> spray. Really people for idiots. Them, 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 them really take people for idiots. Them really take people, people for idiots. But the thing is, the people, the people, the people, the people them is idiots. Yeah, because they're a fallite. 
If they believe it. Mm. And then I rub the alcohol on them hands till they rub off all of the natural skin on their hand as well. Thinking that that's not do anything. <laughs>